We trade our sons and daughters for some oil that we don't need. And it's greed that buys the government, and the law's made just for you. What once was for the people is now just for a chosen few. We're not asking for a free ride, we just want our fair share too. And if you have a On Monday, they gave a notice. They put it up over there. You can see that tree back there in the distance. Quite a ways away from the encampment. Hardly anybody walks down that path because where they need to go is the opposite way. They shouldn't limit the days, especially in our so weather they in Wisconsin. Said you have till noon the next day and gave us the offer of a park on the other side of Dane County, at least 30 miles away, Brigham Park. No bus service, no stores nearby, Offered there's us nothing Token there. Creek, Which is a pretty nice spot, however, again, no bus service, it's too far away. Last night, they put out the fire and apparently broke the fire pit, so oh, you can't a have a fire. No problem. We've had a lot of outpouring of support. Some uh, can, water containers, sleeping bags need washed. This is all clothes over here. So all you live in the neighborhood, right? right? You're a yeah. neighbor, right? Yeah, I am a neighbor. What, yeah. what do you think of uh, Occupy Madison? Well, I think it's great that they're raising awareness to, you know, homelessness in this community and talking about, you know, Raising awareness that we need to find, you know, healthier, more supportive ways to help people through hard times in their lives, and I, I, I think it's great they're here. We're doing what we can to support them and bring them food and help them talk about what, what you know, what can be done next and work with the powers that be to um, create better solutions that they like and that are good for them. And I think in the world to come, with our, our, our economic system and we're spending all our money on wars and things we don't need and lots of people are falling through the cracks meanwhile and I think we need to start thinking outside the box. What do you think of, uh, what social services has offered so far? Well, I think it's uh, absurd because it really is not a solution for people to be seven miles out in the winter with no transportation, with, um, with no showers, no electricity. I think it's kind of obviously they haven't taken the time to talk to people here about what their challenges are and what would work and what would help. Um, and that's only their latest solution. I think their other solution, saying they already have shelters, they have shelter room, is also not a solution because if they had talked to people here and really listened to them, they would know that the shelters are not healthy places to be. Um, and that's no long term solution. If they're not safe, they're bed bugs in those shelters. Um, um, they're, they're, they, they can't sleep in there. Well, yeah, I'm just getting filled in with the details, but um, I feel compassion for the people when they do not have a place to stay, and I, I do not have a problem with the concept that they're able to camp here and um, they're they're being given donations and food. I, I have have no problem with them having a fire if there was a way they could get a permit. Um, we need to reach out and to the people in our community. are in need, we do what we can to facilitate them. And I, I support these people. I hope that they can find a longer term solution, but in the meantime, I don't see a problem with this. I spent the night here. And I'm safe. I've got a job, I've got an apartment to go to, I look like a so-called normal person, and yet these guys stood watch over me all night long while I sat at the fire thinking I was protecting them, and here they stayed up to protect me. They've offered me food, they've offered me a place to sleep, they know more about community and sharing than most so-called normal people do not to go to token creek but if you do if you choose to you know i mean people are concerned about everybody out there in the weather that the county will talk about transportation back and forth came down the hill and, hmm. and issued us another letter um and the woman who brought it is right up there so i don't know if you want to go up there and see what those guys are saying
That's the person who actually brought the letter down in the red jacket. Well, basically, we're just standing up for our right to fair housing. We're coming together as a community, as every other community does, to make sure that we're safe and that we have shelter. There's the the answer to Token Creek is definitely no. It's just the most unreasonable. Without the proper transportation, it's unreasonable. It just it's unhealthy and unsafe for people to be out there that far away from the community. Yeah. You know, if if I don't like the idea of you being out on uh, way out at the other end of South Town, but at least it's closer to a bus. Right. If yeah, if, if they can That's establish workable. transportation, I mean in the winter time especially because. It's already that much more harder for people to com uh, to commute and stuff like that as it is, you know. Um, so it's just almost insurmountable. Period. It, there's no way for us to overcome that obstacle, and so the request is definitely unreasonable because they're giving us nothing to work with that we could, act, you know, trying to look around for facts when we had all the facts for them in the first place. Now they've wasted a bunch of time to come to the same conclusion. This world will never be the same, what a time to be alive, it's time to occupy.